this time round on a political front. And uh, like I mentioned, the CCU party leader, Wavinia Ndeti, is set to direct to be defect rather to the Wiper party this morning. Wavinia has been in support of Wiper leader Kalonzo Musyoka and has been quoted as saying that Kalonzo was better placed to be the flag bearer of NASA. All right, so like I mentioned, we'll be having our Mark Namaso shortly, who's going to be following up on this story. Mark, I understand that you're ready. So talk to us about this defection. Have, uh, do we have any reasons uh, that uh, Wavinia has given for defecting and offering her members of uh, CCU? Uh, Betty, we do not have uh, particular reasons uh, coming directly from her. But in the past, we've seen in February, uh, chairman of uh, the Chama Chauzalendo party, Mr. Maur Buanamaka, went to court and filed an injunction uh, that was barring Ms. Wavinia Ndeti from conducting uh, party uh, activities. And that might be one of the factors that precipitated her uh, intended move now to uh, the Wiper Democratic Party. There have been intrigues within the party. She has been the party leader, but since she had been barred by the court from conducting activities on behalf of the party, then probably the wisest move for her at this very last moment of defection was heading to the uh, Wiper Democratic Party. And remember in the past she had been uh, requesting uh, the Wiper Party to uh, provide her with support in order to uh, extend her, her bid to uh, replace uh, the current Machakos governor. And uh, this might be the fruitation or this might be uh, the end result of all those efforts. Wiper might be supporting her this time round and she is now headed to become a member of the Wiper Democratic Movement. Back to you, Betty. Now, Mark, if you remember, about three weeks ago, uh, Wavinia Ndeti was part of a meeting that uh, other Kamba leaders, uh, Kalonzo Musyoka, Charity Ngilu, uh, were also present in that particular meeting. Could this be a result, as a result of uh, some of the discussions that they had at that time about, you know, the leaders drawn from the Kamba community coming together uh, and forming a formidable force in this election? She has been a very vocal uh, proponent of uh, uh, the adoption or the ascension of uh, Kalonzo Musyoka into the presidency of this country. She has been very vocal, urging or rallying the support of not only Kamba leaders, but also calling across uh, other politicians from across the political divide, especially those member parties or those interested parties in the NASA uh, coalition or NASA uh, arrangement. And she has been telling them that uh, Kalonzo Musyoka is the best suited uh, person to take uh, over the mantle of leadership in the country. And uh, this might be just one of um, the movements that she has been making, one of the strategies that she has been working behind the scenes in order to join the Wiper Democratic Party, as well as uh, being able to be strategically positioned in order to have a stronger bid against the current uh, Machakos uh, uh, governor, Alfred Mtua, whom she intends to unseat from the Machakos gubernatorial seat. Back to you, Betty. All right, thank you very much, Mark Namaswa. Like you can see, he's already on the ground. We're waiting to hear uh, what uh, Wavinia's move is going to be. She's ditching her party to join uh, Kalonzo Musyoka's uh, Wiper party, and therefore we'll be hearing from her in a few short minutes.